Oracle Corporation, Wikipedia article audio. Oracle Corporation is an American multinational computer technology corporation, headquartered in Redwood Shores, California. The company specializes primarily in developing and marketing database software and technology, cloud engineered systems and enterprise software products particularly its own brands of database management systems. In 2015, Oracle was the second largest software maker by revenue, after Microsoft. History Technology Timeline Products and Services Software Databases Middleware Oracle Secure Enterprise Search Oracle Beehive Applications Third-party applications Enterprise Management Development Software File Systems Operating Systems Hardware Services Oracle Cloud Other Services Marketing Sales Practices Competition Oracle and SAP Slogans Media Controversies Trashgate The company also develops and builds tools for database development and systems of middle-tier software, enterprise resource planning software, customer relationship management software and supply chain management software. Can't break it, can't break in. Relationship with John Ashcroft Larry Ellison CEO founded Oracle Corporation in 1977 with Bob Miner and Ed Oates under the name Software Development Laboratories. Ellison took inspiration from the 1970 paper written by Edgar F. Codd on relational database management systems named A Relational Model of Data for Large Shared Data Banks. He heard about the IBM System R database from an article in the IBM Research Journal provided by Oates. Also derived from Codd's theories, Ellison wanted to make Oracle's product compatible with System R, but failed to do so as IBM kept the error codes for their DBMS a secret. SDL changed its name to Relational Software, Inc. in 1979 then again to Oracle Systems Corporation in 1982, to align itself more closely with its flagship product Oracle Database. At this stage Bob Miner served as the company's senior programmer. On March 12, 1986, the company had its initial public offering. In 1995, Oracle Systems Corporation changed its name to Oracle Corporation, officially named Oracle, but sometimes referred to as Oracle Corporation, the name of the holding company. Part of Oracle Corporation's early success arose from using the C programming language to implement its products. This eased porting to different operating systems. Expeditionary Combat Support System Cover Oregon Healthcare Exchange Oracle designs, manufactures, and sells both software and hardware products, as well as offering services that complement them. Many of the products have been added to Oracle's portfolio through acquisitions. Oracle's e-delivery service provides generic downloadable Oracle software and documentation. Oracle Corporation has acquired and developed the following additional database technologies. Oracle Fusion Middleware is a family of middleware software products, including application server, system integration, business process management, user interaction, content management, identity management, and business intelligence products. 
Oracle Secure Enterprise Search, Oracle's Enterprise Search Offering, gives users the ability to search for content across multiple locations, including websites, XML files, file servers, content management systems, enterprise resource planning systems, customer relationship management systems, business intelligence systems, and databases. Released in 2008, the Oracle Beehive collaboration software provides team workspaces, email, calendar, instant messaging, and conferencing on a single platform. Customers can use Beehive as licensed software or as software as a service. Oracle also sells a suite of business applications. The Oracle eBusiness suite includes software to perform various enterprise functions related to financials, manufacturing, customer relationship management, enterprise resource planning and human resource management. The Oracle Retail suite covers the retail industry vertical, providing merchandise management, price management, invoice matching, allocations, store operations management, warehouse management, demand forecasting, merchandise financial planning, assortment planning, and category management. Users can access these facilities through a browser interface over the Internet or via a corporate intranet. Following a number of acquisitions beginning in 2003, especially in the area of applications, Oracle Corporation as of 2008 maintains a number of product lines. Development of applications commonly takes place in Java or through pl SQL. Oracle Corporation has started a drive toward wizard-driven environments with a view to enabling non-programmers to produce simple data-driven applications. Oracle Corporation works with Oracle certified partners to enhance its overall product marketing. The variety of applications from third-party vendors includes database applications for archiving, splitting and control, ERP and CRM systems, as well as more niche and focused products providing a range of commercial functions in areas like human resources, financial control and governance risk management, and compliance. Vendors include Hewlett Packard, UC4 Software, Motus, and No Software. Oracle Enterprise Manager provides web-based monitoring and management tools for Oracle products, including database management, middleware management, application management, hardware, and virtualization management and cloud management. The Primavera products of Oracle's Primavera Global Business Unit consist of project management software. ORAC examines software in the Oracle software stack and reports on issues. Oracle Corporation's tools for developing applications include Many external and third-party tools make the Oracle Database Administrator S tasks easier. Oracle Corporation develops and supports two operating systems, Oracle Solaris and Oracle Linux. Oracle Cloud is a cloud computing service offered by Oracle Corporation providing servers, storage, network, applications, and services through a global network of Oracle Corporation managed data centers. The company allows these services to be provisioned on demand over the Internet. Oracle Cloud provides infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service and data as a service. These services are used to build, deploy, integrate and extend applications in the cloud. This platform supports open standards open source solutions in a variety of programming languages, databases, tools and frameworks including Oracle specific open source and third-party software and systems. On July 28, 2016 Oracle bought NetSuite, the very first cloud company, 
for $9.3 billion. In 1990, Oracle laid off 10% of its workforce because of accounting errors. This crisis came about because of Oracle's upfront marketing strategy, in which salespeople urged potential customers to buy the largest possible amount of software all at once. The salespeople then booked the value of future license sales in the current quarter, thereby increasing their bonuses. This became a problem when the future sales subsequently failed to materialize. Oracle eventually had to restate its earnings twice, and also settled class action lawsuits arising from its having overstated its earnings. Ellison stated in 1992 that Oracle had made an incredible business mistake. In 1994, Informix overtook Sybase and became Oracle's most important rival. The intense war between Informix CEO Phil White and Ellison made front page news in Silicon Valley for three years. Informix claimed that Oracle had hired away Informix engineers to disclose important trade secrets about an upcoming product. Informix finally dropped its lawsuit against Oracle in 1997. In November 2005, a book detailing the war between Oracle and Informix was published, titled The Real Story of Informix Software and Phil White. It gave a detailed chronology of the battle of Informix against Oracle, and how Informix software CEO Phil White landed in jail because of his obsession with overtaking Ellison. Once it had overcome Informix and Sybase, Oracle Corporation enjoyed years of dominance in the database market until use of Microsoft SQL Server became widespread in the late 1990s and IBM acquired Informix software in 2001. Today Oracle competes for new database licenses on Unix, Linux, and Windows operating systems primarily against IBM's DB2 and Microsoft SQL Server. IBM's DB2 still dominates the mainframe database market. In 2004, Oracle's sales grew at a rate of 14.5% to $6.2 billion, giving it 41.3% and the top share of the relational database market, with market share estimated at up to 44.6% in 2005 by some sources. Oracle Corporation's main competitors in the database arena remain IBM DB2 and Microsoft SQL Server, and to a lesser extent Sybase and Teradata, with open-source databases such as PostgreSQL and MySQL also having a significant share of the market. Enterprise DB, based on PostgreSQL has recently made inroads by proclaiming that its product delivers Oracle compatibility features at a much lower price point. In the software applications market, Oracle Corporation primarily competes against SAP. On March 22, 2007 Oracle sued SAP, accusing them of fraud and unfair competition. In the market for business intelligence software, Many other software companies small and large have successfully competed in quality with Oracle and SAP products. Business intelligence vendors can be categorized into the big four consolidated buy firms such as Oracle, who has entered buy market through a recent trend of acquisitions, and the independent pure play vendors such as MicroStrategy, Actuate, and SAS. Oracle Financials was ranked in the top 20 most popular accounting software infographic by Captera in 2014, beating out SAP and a number of their other competitors. From 1988, Oracle Corporation and the German company SAP AG had a decade-long history of cooperation, beginning with the integration of SAP's R-3 Enterprise Application Suite with Oracle's relational database products. Despite the SAP partnership with Microsoft, 
and the increasing integration of SAP applications with Microsoft products, Oracle and SAP continue their cooperation. According to Oracle Corporation, the majority of SAP's customers use Oracle databases. Berkeley DB, which offers embedded database processing, Oracle RDB, a relational database system running on open VMS platforms. Oracle acquired RDB in 1994 from Digital Equipment Corporation. Oracle has since made many enhancements to this product and development continues as of 2008, times 10, which features in-memory database operations, Oracle S-Base which continues the Hyperion S-Base tradition of multidimensional database management, MySQL, a relational database management system licensed under the new General Public License, initially developed by MySQL Abe, Oracle NoSQL Database, a scalable, distributed key-value NoSQL Database. Events Acquisition of Sun Microsystems Justice Department Lawsuit Lawsuit Against Google Background First Trial First Appeal Supreme Court Petition Second Trial Second Appeal Discontinuation of Open Solaris Discontinuation of Open SSO Mark Hurd as President OpenOffice.org Issue HP and Oracle Lawsuit Foreign Corrupt Practices GSA Business Bidding Ban People Offices Corporate Structures Sponsorships Oracle Fusion Applications Oracle Designer, a case tool which integrates with Oracle Developer Suite, Oracle Developer which consists of Oracle Forms, Oracle Discoverer and Oracle Reports, Oracle J Developer, a freeware IDE, NetBeans, a Java-based software development platform, Oracle Application Express also known as Apex, for web-oriented development, Oracle SQL Developer, an integrated development environment for working with SQL-based databases, Oracle SQL Asterisk Plus Worksheet, a component of Oracle Enterprise Manager, OEP, Oracle Enterprise Pack for Eclipse, Open Java Development Kit, Software as a Service, Enterprise Applications, SCM, EPM, HCM, ERP, and CX SOS offerings. Communications, Construction and Engineering, formerly the Primavera GBU, Financial Services, Health Sciences, Hospitality, Retail, Utilities. In 2004, Oracle began to increase its interest in the enterprise applications market. A series of acquisitions by Oracle Corporation began, most notably with those of PeopleSoft, Siebel Systems, and Hyperion. SAP recognized that Oracle had started to become a competitor in a market where SAP had the leadership, and saw an opportunity to lure in customers from those companies that Oracle Corporation had acquired. SAP would offer those customers special discounts on the licenses for its enterprise applications. Oracle Corporation would resort to a similar strategy, by advising SAP customers to get off SAP, and also by providing special discounts on licenses and services to SAP customers who chose Oracle Corporation products. Currently Oracle and SAP compete in the third-party enterprise software maintenance and support market. On March 22, 2007, Oracle filed a lawsuit against SAP. In Oracle Corporation v. SAP AG Oracle alleged that Tomorrow Now, 
which provides discount support for legacy Oracle product lines, used the accounts of former Oracle customers to systematically download patches and support documents from Oracle's website and to appropriate them for SAP's use. Some analysts have suggested the suit could form part of a strategy by Oracle Corporation to decrease competition with SAP in the market for third-party enterprise software maintenance and support. On July 3, 2007, SAP admitted that Tomorrow Now employees had made inappropriate downloads from the Oracle support website. However, it claims that SAP personnel and SAP customers had no access to Oracle intellectual property via Tomorrow Now. SAP CEO Henning Kagerman stated that even a single inappropriate download is unacceptable from my perspective. We regret very much that this occurred. Additionally, SAP announced that it had instituted changes in Tomorrow Now's operational oversight. On November 23, 2010, a U.S. District Court jury in Oakland, California found that SAP AG must pay Oracle Corp. $1.3 billion for copyright infringement, awarding damages that could be the largest ever for copyright infringement. While admitting liability, SAP estimated the damages at no more than $40 million while Oracle claimed that they are at least $1.65 billion. The awarded amount is one of the 10 or 20 largest jury verdicts in U.S. legal history. SAP said they were disappointed by the verdict and might appeal. On September 1, 2011, a federal judge overturned the judgment and offered a reduced amount or a new trial, calling Oracle's original award grossly excessive. Oracle chose a new trial. On August 3, 2012, SAP and Oracle agreed on a judgment for $306 million in damages, pending approval from the U.S. District Court judge, to save time and expense of new trial. After the accord has been approved, Oracle can ask a federal appeals court to reinstate the earlier jury verdict. In addition to the damages payment, SAP has already paid Oracle $120 million for its legal fees. Oracle Corporation produces and distributes the Oracle Clearview series of videos as part of its marketing mix. In 2000, Oracle attracted attention from the computer industry and the press after hiring private investigators to dig through the trash of organizations involved in an antitrust trial involving Microsoft. The chairman of Oracle Corporation, Larry Ellison, staunchly defended his company's hiring of an East Coast detective agency to investigate groups that supported rival Microsoft Corporation during its antitrust trial calling the snooping a public service. The investigation reportedly included a $1,200 offer to janitors at the Association for Competitive Technology to look through Microsoft's trash. When asked how he would feel if others were looking into Oracle's business activities, Ellison said, We will ship our garbage to Redmond, and they can go through it. We believe in full disclosure. In 2002, Oracle Corporation marketed many of its products using the slogan Can't Break It, Can't Break In, or Unbreakable. This signified a demand on information security. Oracle Corporation also stressed the reliability of networked databases and network access to databases as major selling points. However, Two weeks after its introduction, David Litchfield, Alexander Kornbrust, Caesar Cerruto, and others demonstrated a whole suite of successful attacks against Oracle products. Oracle Corporation's chief security officer Mary Ann Davidson said that, rather than representing a literal claim of Oracle's products' impregnability, 
she saw the campaign in the context of 14 independent security evaluations that Oracle Corporation's database server had passed. In 2004, then United States Attorney General John Ashcroft sued Oracle Corporation to prevent it from acquiring a multi billion dollar intelligence contract. After Ashcroft's resignation from government, he founded a lobbying firm, the Ashcroft Group, which Oracle hired in 2005. With the group's help, Oracle went on to acquire the contract. Computer Sciences Corporation reportedly spent a billion dollars developing a computer system for the United States Air Force that yielded no significant capability, because, according to an Air Force source, the Oracle software on which the system was based could not be adapted to meet the specialized performance criteria. Oracle Corporation was awarded a contract by the state of Oregon's Oregon Health Authority to develop Cover Oregon, the state's healthcare exchange website, as part of the U.S. Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. When the site tried to go live on October 1, 2013, it failed, and registrations had to be taken using paper applications until the site could be fixed. On April 25, 2014, the state of Oregon voted to discontinue Cover Oregon and instead use the federal exchange to enroll Oregon residents. The cost of switching to the federal portal was estimated at $5 million, whereas fixing Cover Oregon would have required another $78 million. Oracle President Safra Katz responded to cover Oregon and the OHA in a letter claiming that the site's problems were due to OHA mismanagement, specifically that a third-party systems integrator was not hired to manage the complex project. In August 2014, Oracle Corporation sued Cover Oregon for breach of contract, and then later that month the state of Oregon sued Oracle Corporation in a civil complaint for breach of contract, fraud, filing false claims and racketeering. In September 2016, the two sides reached a settlement valued at over $100 million to the state, and a six-year agreement for Oracle to continue modernizing state software and IT. On January 27, 2010, Oracle announced it had completed its acquisition of Sun Microsystems valued at more than $7 billion a move that transformed Oracle from solely a software company to a manufacturer of both software and hardware. The acquisition was delayed for several months by the EU Commission because of concerns about MySQL, but was unconditionally approved in the end. This acquisition was important to some in the open-source community and also to some other companies, as they feared Oracle might end Sun's traditional support of open-source projects. Since the acquisition, Oracle has discontinued OpenSolaris and StarOffice, and sued Google over their newly acquired Java patents from Sunday. In September 2011, U.S. State Department embassy cables were leaked to WikiLeaks. One cable revealed that the U.S. pressured the EU to allow Oracle to acquire Sunday. On July 29, 2010, the United States Department of Justice filed suit against Oracle Corporation alleging fraud. The lawsuit argues that the government received deals inferior to those Oracle gave to its commercial clients. The DOJ added its heft to an already existing whistleblower lawsuit filed by Paul Fraschella, who was once senior director of contract services at Oracle. It was settled in May 2012. Oracle, the plaintiff, bought the Java computer programming language when it acquired Sun Microsystems in January 2010. The Java software includes sets of pre-developed software code in order to accomplish common tasks consistently among programs and apps. 
the pre-developed code is organized into separate packages which each contained a set of methods. The packages are further organized into larger classes. Each method instructs a program or app to do a certain task. Software developers became accustomed to using Java's designations at the package, class, and method level. Oracle and Google tried to negotiate an agreement for Oracle to license Java to Google, which would have allowed Google to use Java in developing programs for mobile devices using the Android operating system. However, the two companies never reached an agreement. After negotiations failed, Google created its own programming platform, which was based on Java, and contained a mix of 37 copied Java packages and new packages developed by Google. In 2010, Oracle sued Google for copyright infringement for the use of the 37 Java packages. The case was handled in U.S. District Court for the Northern District of California and assigned to Judge William H. Alsup. In the lawsuit, Oracle sought between $1.4 billion and $6.1 billion. In June 2011 the judge had to force Google through a judicial order to make public the details about Oracle's claim for damages. By the end of the first jury trial the arguments made by Oracle's attorneys focused on a Java function called range check. The argument centered on a function called range check. Of all the lines of code that Oracle had tested 15 million in total these were the only ones that were literally copied. Every keystroke, a perfect duplicate. The Verge, October 19, 17. Although Google admitted to copying the packages, Judge Alsup found that none of the Java packages were covered under copyright protection, and therefore Google did not infringe. After the case was over, Oracle appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit. On May 9, 2014, the appeals court partially reversed Judge Alsup's decision finding that Java APIs are copyrightable. API stands for Application Programming Interface and are how different computer programs or apps communicate with each other. However, the appeals court also left open the possibility that Google might have a fair use defense. On October 6, 2014, Google filed a petition to appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court, but the Supreme Court denied the petition. The case was then returned to the U.S. District Court for another trial about Google's fair use defense. Oracle sought $9 billion in damages. In May 2016, the trial jury found that Google's use of Java's APIs was considered fair use. In February 2017, Oracle filed another appeal to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit. This time it was asking for a new trial because the district court repeatedly undermined Oracle's case, which Oracle argued led the jury to make the wrong decision. According to ZDNet, for example, it says the court wrongly bought Google's claim that Android was limited to smartphones while Java was for PCs, whereas Oracle contends that Java and Android both compete as platforms for smart TVs, cars, and wearables. On August 13, 2010, an internal Oracle memo leaked to the Internet cited plans for ending the OpenSolaris operating system project and community. With Oracle planning to develop Solaris only in a closed-source fashion, OpenSolaris developers moved to the Alumos and Open Indiana project, among others. As Oracle completed their acquisition of Sun Microsystems in February 2010, they announced that OpenSSO would no longer be their strategic product. Shortly after, OpenSSO was forked to OpenAM. 
and will continue to be developed and supported by Forge Rock. On September 6, 2010, Oracle announced that former Hewlett Packard CEO Mark Hurd was to replace Charles Phillips, who resigned as Oracle CEO President. In an official statement made by Larry Ellison, Phillips had previously expressed his desire to transition out of the company. Ellison had asked Phillips to stay on through the integration of Sun Microsystems Inc. In a separate statement regarding the transition, Ellison said Mark did a brilliant job at HP and I expect he'll do even better at Oracle. There is no executive in the IT world with more relevant experience than Mark. On September 7, 2010, HP announced a civil lawsuit against Mark Hurd to protect HP's trade secrets, in response to Oracle hiring Hurd. On September 20, Oracle and HP published a joint press release announcing the resolution of the lawsuit on confidential terms and reaffirming commitment to long-term strategic partnership between the companies. A number of OpenOffice.org developers had formed the Document Foundation and had received backing by Google, Novel, Red Hat, and Canonical, as well as some others, but were unable to get Oracle to donate the brand OpenOffice.org, causing a fork in the development of OpenOffice.org with the foundation now developing and promoting LibreOffice. Oracle has expressed no interest in sponsoring the new project and has asked the OpenOffice.org developers that have started the project to resign from the company due to conflicts of interest. On November 1, 2010, 33 of the OpenOffice.org developers gave their letters of resignation. On June 1, 2011, Oracle donated OpenOffice.org to the Apache Software Foundation. On June 15, 2011, HP filed a lawsuit in California Superior Court in Santa Clara, claiming that Oracle had breached an agreement to support the Itanium microprocessor used in HP's high-end enterprise servers. Oracle called the lawsuit an abuse of the judicial process and said that had it known SAP S. Leo Apotheker was about to be hired as HP's new CEO, any support for HP's Itanium servers would not have been implied. On August 1, 2012, a California judge said in a tentative ruling that Oracle must continue porting its software at no cost until HP discontinues its sales of Itanium-based servers. HP was awarded $3 billion in damages against Oracle in 2016. HP argued Oracle's cancelling support damaged HP's Itanium server brand. Oracle has announced it will appeal both the decision and damages. On August 31, 2011, The Wall Street Journal reported that Oracle was being investigated by the Federal Bureau of Investigation for paying bribes to government officials in order to win business in Africa, in contravention of the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. On April 20, 2012 the U.S. General Services Administration banned Oracle from the most popular portal for bidding on GSA contracts for undisclosed reasons. Oracle has previously used this portal for around $400 million a year in revenue. Oracle previously settled a lawsuit filed under the False Claims Act which accused the company of overbilling the U.S. government between 1998 and 2006. The 2011 settlement forced Oracle to pay $199.5 million to the General Services Administration. Oracle Corporation has its overall headquarters on the San Francisco Peninsula in the Redwood Shores area of Redwood City adjacent to Belmont and near San Carlos Airport. Oracle HQ stands on the former site of Marine World Africa USA, which moved from Redwood Shores to Vallejo in 1986.
Oracle Corporation originally leased two buildings on the site, moving its finance and administration departments from the corporation's former headquarters on Davis Drive, Belmont, California. Eventually, Oracle purchased the complex and constructed a further four main buildings. The distinctive Oracle Parkway buildings, nicknamed the Emerald City, served as sets for the futuristic headquarters of the fictional company Northam Robotics in the Robin Williams film Bicentennial Man. The campus represented the headquarters of Cyberdyne Systems in the movie Terminator Genesis. 300 Oracle Parkway at Oracle Corporation Headquarters Indiana Redwood Shores, California Oracle Aoyama Center Building, with Lexus International Gallery Aoyama Oracle HQ, with Oracle Plaza Building in left foreground The Oracle Conference Center at Oracle Corporation Headquarters in Redwood Shores, California Fountain in the Oracle Lake, Redwood Shores Oracle Corporation has a major business campus at Thames Valley Park in Reading in England. Oracle in Markham, Ontario Oracle Corporation operates in multiple markets and has acquired several companies which formerly functioned autonomously. In some cases these provided the starting points for global business units targeting particular vertical markets. Oracle Corporation GBUs include On October 20, 2006, the Golden State Warriors and the Oracle Corporation announced a 10-year agreement in which the Oakland Arena would become known as the Oracle Arena. Larry Ellison's sailing team competes as Oracle Team USA. The team has won the America's Cup twice, in 2010 and in 2013. Sean Tucker S. Challenger 2 stunt biplane performs frequently at air shows around the U.S. Coordinates 37 degree 3146 and 122 degree 1557 W slash 37.5294 degrees north 122.265966 degrees west slash 37.5294, 122.265966.